Good afternoon YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I just wanted to do a, a sort of greenhouse update, I guess. It's not quite December, it is the last week of November, but we are bubble wrapped up for, for winter now. Um, trying something new. The bubble wrap actually only goes up um, about four feet in. The warm side of the greenhouse is like six feet in. So this whole front here that's in the sun right now is the warm side. The cold side, the back, I didn't bother bubble wrapping this year at the roof anyways. I'm gonna try to let a little heat escape out there. It seems to be a little bit warm even in the winter time. I like my um, low temperatures to be a little bit lower back there than they were last year anyways. So why don't I take you down a bit? So I've bubble wrapped the outside. I do this every year. I have my select pieces that it takes like moments to put these up. I just sort of label them up front corner so I know where I'm going with them and stuff like that. You can't even see it because it's reflecting too much but right there is writing. And um, it says front wall. And yeah, so I have the front wall up. Now, this is a nice big bubble wrap. I didn't do it as, I, I still have to like tape these closed because you don't want air getting in back there. But um, it's now up anyways. Maybe I'll do that later today to tape these guys nicely since it's not coming back down. You don't want any kind of breeze going back there if you can help it. Um, I do the outside because it's really quick and easy. But I also do the inside as well, at least on the warm side I did. This year, we're gonna go in, I did some, some alterations, sort of. I wanted to keep the warm side as warm as possible without costing me a fortune in electricity. So this is normally just my clear plastic door that I have down, it's vinyl. I have actually added the same size um, bubble wrap sheet to the vinyl door, so the door is now insulated. So we're on the cold side right now. Yeah, you know, always want to open the door into the cold side of the greenhouse, not the warm side. You might as well not let your heat out. I also, um, this is the hanging walls. I'm going to go inside the warm side because it might be easier to talk here. Let's go in. The difference is, oh my goodness, night and day. So this is quite a heavy door now with the extra bubble wrap on. It makes it quite heavy. Uh, it's quite bright in here. You're going to see lots of reflecting of the sun because it's pretty low in the sky being we're almost in November or almost in December now. Temperature in here is well above 80. Well, not well above, but it's above 80. It looks like it was warmer at one point, but um, it's getting later in the day and it's starting to drop. This is a min-max thermometer. So it says that it was getting closer up to 90. It was 30. Now it's like 28 Celsius in here. But this hanging wall here also has vinyl behind the bubble wrap and that's all it ever was was vinyl. So the air couldn't travel through. I actually took down the plants I put bubble wrap back there so now there is a layer of bubble wrap that the heat has to travel through before it even gets to the vinyl. I did the same on this side here you can see the bubble wrap back there. So I just sort of um, the fogger in on this side just came in or came on. Up at the top here instead of just vinyl I put the vinyl is still there but I put the bubble wrap up there as well and tried to seal any holes and stuff like that that I could to make it a little bit tighter. The roof on the inside here has some bubble wrap on it and the walls of course on the inside have bubble wrap so this is double bubble you can't see it because it's too bright but that's double bubble right there um, on the inside and the outside the sun still gets through nicely but um, it saves my heating bill other things i did this summer was i put the um the misting fogger system back in here i hooked that up just like excuse my mess there that's like my spare extension cords draped everywhere um, but anyways, that's just a five disc fogger that's hooked up. Keeps the humidity up on this side of the greenhouse. And I noticed just from like the second I did it that the plants really loved it. There's lots coming out in spike and in bloom this time of year. Coleman area. Nellie Eisler is open behind it here. You can see right through, you can see a red Nellie Eisler. Um, my nice truncata pictures faded. They fade pretty fast. There's a new one coming back there though. So that's kind of nice. This is my ampullaria. It's at almost chest height. Not bad for um, an ampullaria. This is my Rafflesiana. It's at head height. Technically, if you look at this piece up here, it's above my head. So it's it's six feet plus. What else do we have? Miltoniops or Miltassa here. Another sort of the classic Oncidium, the dancing lady type. I think we have two different kinds of oncidiums right here. This one is, I can't remember the name, it'll come back to me. Um, it was a funny name though. 
And then there's another Coleman area back there as well. Sort of different than the other one we've seen. So there's a few things coming out in, in bloom. This guy, is, um, he's got a bad tip on his lip there, but um, kind of a cool plant. He blooms forever. That's one um should be going dormant pretty soon, I think. There's the tag for it anyways. Um, right back here is a nice Rafflesiana picture. Just keep in mind we're on the warm side of the greenhouse. Very nice though, very big. I noticed when I was putting up the bubble wrap, one picture actually got like back here. We're not gonna be able to see it, it's buried. It's down there. You can see it moving. It's like stuck on the other side of the um, the fence or the, the wire there. Did that all on its own. Yeah, here's some of the um, Borneo Exotics plants. Here's some of my own plants. I put it in the shop light above it. Last year they didn't have any lights over on this side, so it's making a difference. This one I just put in like yesterday because it was just getting a little dark in here, right? It's almost December. It's almost getting down to the, the darkest days of the year. So thank goodness for that and we can start getting brighter again. It's horrible backlighting, but there's a few Cattleyas in bloom up there. I can't, they're above my head. I can't get them to show you, but um, yeah. Hopefully they're in focus up there. I can see a few more spikes happening over there heading towards the window. You can see my writing, south wall, up, left, because all these things I have um, named as well. So I reuse the same bubble wrap every year. I just take it down in the spring. But um, there's a few spikes right here, big ones. That is on my Brassidium and there's another one right there on my Brassidium. So they're coming out. That's cool. Um, Sherry Baby's like tucked under here. Sherry Baby has been going for months. They, um, they don't last very long themselves, but I just had them like bloom over and over and over. So the warm side of the greenhouse has smelled like chocolate for, for months now. It's great. Absolutely great. This is another Sherry Baby spike. Here is a Dendrobium phalaenopsis orchid spike. Um, lots of twinkles are coming out in spike now. It's that sort of season again. That one might have been broken because it's growing at a 90 degree angle now. So could have done that when I was doing the light, I guess. Made some cuttings. Just some simple cuttings. See if they take. What else? Um, bunch of little seedlings. This one is um, a nice plant that I acquired. I like the variegatedness. This is a gracilis. The pictures are not amazing yet, but I love the leaves on it. The patterns on the leaves, the whites and the pinks. Super nice. The fogger is like blowing up in our faces here. Um, what else do we have here? Let me get out of the way. A few campanulatas. That's my Westuba one there. Previlii. Those ones are Borneo Exotics. We put them in a nice big pot. That's their forever home, hopefully, or until they outgrow the pot. So, really looking forward to those. Those came in amazing. They're a good size. And they're already growing new leaves too. I can tell because this leaf here was broken and the new leaf has already poked through. That's a new leaf there too. Nice and bright and shiny. So yeah, Previlia is looking very nice. I have a few of them kicking around. They grow in an interesting mix. It's mainly a red clay called turfus and a bit of um, sand and a bit of peat moss. But yeah, what else can I show you? Hanging wall is doing nicely. My Epidendrum porpax is out. I keep getting asked for updates on my, what do they call this guy, Shilleriana. And so here's one of them and it's in spike down there. So you can see the spike. And there's one of its keikis, separate it all out. That guy's looking good. This was one of those rescues. I don't even know if I have the tag. It's Psychopsis, I think it is. However you say it. But anyways. Yeah, that's his first time blooming for me. What else do we have here? It's really foggy down here. My shirt's getting wet. My Haueria Lava Burst is doing nicely. And I made this little nook in here. So this had some of my warmer growing seedlings in for Nepenthes, like ones that I was germinating, but there was extra space. 
and I thought why waste the light in these dark days so I moved um, some of my ant plants into the back my ant ferns are in the back hanging up a few orchids are hanging up back there and it's just this little nice bright nook doesn't really get any natural light this time of year but um, the overhead lights sort of make up for it this plant I got from Westuba and um, it's going yellow but at least the new growth is, is green I only got it this fall so I'm not expected to take off quite yet but um, yeah so there's lots of stuff happening I keep my other little pervilliais in here one is a crappy looking Westuba one um, a couple seed grow ones in the back there but um, they're a very, very interesting plant. I, I have a few of them going and a few different sort of attempts of, of growing them because I really want to succeed with them. So yeah, what else? Oh, there's some buds over here. Some slipper orchids are coming out. And somebody was asking about my Angracum. I don't know who it was, but um, long roots on these things. The roots are going like way over there to the back and behind the heater and stuff. But we had two big buds last year two big flower um spikes this year we have three excuse the backlighting but yeah we have one two and three so that's kind of cool last year i think was its first time blooming and it's a big plant this thing's like vanda size but the flowers are literally like the size of your hand and the, the little sepals i guess are called go trailing down the, the blooms are each over a foot so i'll be sure to do a video on those when they actually um are out and open but yeah so we're heading into winter now I do um, sort of calculate these things just because I am dying for spring already so being it's almost the first of December I got about three more weeks of shrinking light and then it actually will start getting brighter again earlier today I did the math and I think today we have I have an app on my phone so it wasn't really math but we have about um, eight hours and 45 minutes of light and we're going to lose another 15 minutes of light by the time we get to our darkest day. And then it's not going to be until January 19th that we have this much light again. So this is, um, yeah, one of the rare last occasions probably when we're going to get above 80 degrees in here. But um, we're going to try our best. So anyways, I hope you like this update. I don't know if this is going to be a December greenhouse update, if I'll get it up late, or if it's going to be like a late November greenhouse update that I still end up calling a December update or or what it'll be but it's a greenhouse tour anyways so I hope you like this video and if you want to see more videos like this make sure you subscribe to my channel as always thanks for watching there's a vanilla back there too and there's something blooming way in the back there